Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here. I have a new Goodwill to go to today, so I'm pretty excited about that. One opened up, and I saw that it's um, actually finally open. I knew it was going to open up for a while. So we're going to go see if we can find anything awesome today. Uh, flip on eBay, Amazon, wherever we can. So I've been busy the past couple days. I got four FBA boxes going out. Probably around $3,000 profit, I would guess. Got some eBay sales yesterday. I'm not sure how many packages are in there. Um, some pretty good sales. I actually listed 15 items yesterday on eBay, which to do 15 items in one day for me is pretty good because I don't like listing. But yesterday, for some reason, I felt like listing, so I went ahead and just knocked out 15 items. Probably make about a grand on those items once they sell. My back is really hurting today. I don't know what's going on, but it's unfortunate that it's hurting today because I got to take these boxes and drop them off. Uh, they are about 45 pounds average. So it's going to um, probably mess me up pretty bad. Maybe I'll just, after going to Goodwill, just take it easy the next day or so. But uh, yeah, I want to get this stuff in. Here it is, the new Goodwill. I have arrived, and it says now open right there. Um, I wish I got to the grand opening. Unfortunately, I always miss the Goodwill grand openings for some reason. Uh, however, we're heading on in. There's people people everywhere but this looks like a pretty average goodwill at least for this area and we head down we're looking at some of the in caps here doing this voiceover because of copyright music being played in the background there's a bunch of the computers that you see in a lot of goodwills let me know if anyone picks those up i've looked at them before and the prices don't seem to match the specs usually uh, but i'm wondering if there's some deals that sneak in there i don't really pay a lot of attention to those Looking around here on these electronics, uh, we've seen a few interesting things. The combo unit down there was some brand I've never heard of. Very generic, no remote. Uh, I don't remember the price of that, but there were a lot of prices in this Goodwill that were just kind of outrageous. Um, like that brownie movie uh, maker there, I think was like $200 or something like that. It was insane. Down here in the toys, there's some of these Skylander figures. Big bags of them, but they wanted $12.99 per bag. Some of the smaller bags are like five, six dollars. But Skylanders just seems like that. I don't think they have. They don't think they hold any value right now. I remember Walmart clearancing these out <laughs> like 90% off, and you couldn't even make money on them. So um, I'm sure there's some gems that people buy and flip. Maybe they can part them out, like make a dollar or two per figure. I don't know. It's not something I want to deal with. Uh, yeah, so looking at more toys, back to the electronics because I have to record where there's no people looking and in my way. That's just kind of the thing about Goodwill. There's always people in the way, it seems. Uh, looking over here, I see this uh, answering machine, call ID thing. Um, these things can sell for over $100. I've sold them before, certain models. That one didn't have a lot of comps or anything, and it was dirty inside. $6.99 might have been a fair price. Um, I just didn't want to mess with it with, you know, that kind of quality. Here is a Canon charger. I said, wow, Canon charger. I'll look that up. Uh, it sold for $14.99. Fortunately, they would not sell it to me because didn't have a price on it. And they said it went with a camera. And I told them, well, there's no camera back there. And uh, yeah, they went and looked, couldn't find the camera, still wouldn't sell it to me. So yeah, looking, there's more Skylanders. Here's some of these Nerf drums. These would have been great to pick up, could have sold them for about 25 bucks. However, when I was pushing the little, the flap that pushes the dart up, it wasn't coming all the way up and it just seemed like they had some problems. So I did not end up buying them. There's a sealed Trivial Pursuit up there. It was beat up, otherwise it would have been worth picking up um, to sell on Amazon. They sell for like 28 bucks. I think they wanted like four. Uh, some other sealed games that weren't worth it. Not a whole lot of games for a new Goodwill, right? Uh, plush section was kind of lackluster looking through the dishes I did go through every single item in this Goodwill I was in here for about an hour and a half uh, desperately looking for anything to flip I wanted to make sure I seen every item since this was a new store uh, however I just wasn't really finding anything you can see down some of these aisles it's just kind of the, the basic Goodwill stuff media section they had quite a bit of media but nothing good. I looked through, looked for out of print stuff, looked for sealed stuff, looked for the, the, the box sets. They had a good amount of box sets and they were priced fair. 
but they were the box sets that sell for like four dollars new on Amazon. Uh, here's some DS games, DS and uh, Game Boy Advance. Of course, it's a worthless game. It just always is when you look at that stuff. Looking at the shoes, and well, the shoes suck as well. <laughs> Nothing really great. There's some Coach shoes. I think they wanted twenty-five dollars for those, so those are not worth picking up at twenty-five dollars. And I think that was it for the shoes as far as like any sort of decent brands. So I uh, did not want to pick those up. There's an Olympus Stylus 80 I found. This would have been a great flip if it was the Stylus Epic. Stylus 80 is not that great and it didn't have the charger or anything like that. Well, I should say the cables, they don't use a charger. But yeah, I had to head out. So I am out of the Goodwill and <laughs> it was honestly a terrible experience. Um... One of the worst Goodwills I've ever been in, in terms of price and um, just items, really. The, for a new store, there's not a whole lot in there. And some of the prices were absolutely ridiculous, so pretty bad sign. I looked at pretty much every item, every article of clothing, at least in the men's area. And this is all I got. This, was, this is an all-time low concert tee. I honestly don't even know this band. Um, I just thought it looked cool, and I looked it up. And one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So uh, right now, there's only two on eBay for this design. And one's large. This one's a small. And the large one's $14.99 plus shipping. And the small one is $49. So <laughs> I'll probably just price this one at $14.99 plus shipping and get a sale at some time. It's got a, you know, the places they were in, on the back. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how bad it was. There was a charger in there I wanted to buy, but it didn't have a price on it and they wouldn't sell it to me. They said it went with a camera. I couldn't find a camera it went with. So, um, good luck to them. Uh, it was only worth about $15. It was a Canon charger. It's like everything that had potential I picked up and was damaged or destroyed or just high price. So, uh, yeah, not too happy with this Goodwill. However, it is only two miles from my last stop in my, my big thrifting route. So I'll still come here when I'm out thrifting and it's not really going to take any time away from me other than you know, just the time that I'm coming in here and looking. You can't judge one thrift store going in there once. Uh, so maybe I'll come back in two or three days just to give it another try. Uh, I still got a couple more Goodwills to go to today because uh, there's just some around here. So I'm going to go hit those, see if we can find anything else. So I have been to four Goodwills today. This is the last stop of the day. And ooh, it was a good one. Uh, this is this off a cart that just came out. I saw this Bose sitting there on the bottom. Me and another guy were just staring at it. As soon as I realized it was Bose, uh, I just grabbed it right away. Um, he was like in mid bend himself, but um, <laughs> I was a bit faster. So uh, this is a great pickup here. This is a Bose unit, it's got two remotes and uh, the changer down here that, that goes with it. But I saw one of these sell for, I believe it was $305 plus shipping. So it's a great pickup. I'm gonna probably price this at at least 350 because I seen just the unit without the, the CD changer selling in the 200s with the remote. Plus I can sell one of the remotes for 20 bucks. I don't need to include both remotes. So that's a bonus there. Only $9.99 for Bose at Goodwill. You can still find stuff after uh, being in the new Goodwill I went to today and being really depressed with it all. I'm really happy that I came here and found this. I just hope it works because if, <laughs> even if it doesn't work, I'm going to make money on it. Parting out bows and the, the, the remotes, uh, definitely going to make profit. Uh, but yeah, this is probably my best find so far this year, I believe. Uh, the year is not that deep in yet. It's only February, but um, still a nice nice find but I was so excited about the bows I did not realize this was on the cart uh, I walked by later and saw it sitting there this is an Avalon Hill uh, history of the world board game it was $2.99 it sells for about $40 plus shipping if all the pieces are there so hopefully all the pieces are there I'm really sad that the morning's over for me thrifting because once you have a find like this you want to keep going However, I need to get home, get some work done, but I'm going to continue this vlog. 
uh, tomorrow. It is the next morning and I've been in a Goodwill and Salvation Army and I've got some stuff. I'll go over that later when I get home. I have another Goodwill and a church thrift store to go into. So I'm going to go hit those up and hopefully we can add to this little pile I've started. So I am in the smallest Goodwill that I go to. This end cap is all the electronics that they have in the store. Not very many. They never have anything big really. So here's a Minolta camera. Not worth picking up. Not a good model. I've sold Minoltas in the past and some of the models sell great. It's a good brand to look for. There's a lot of cheapos though. But yeah, I'm looking around here, not seeing anything, but um, there is something great there. I am just haven't spotted it yet. It's unbelievable. But I got out of the way for this woman to get by, and then I spotted it down here. I said, whoa, what is this for $2.99? Some sort of weather thing. So I ended up picking that up, and it was a great pickup. But let's get back to the house, and I will show you everything I picked up today. I am back home and I've got some exciting stuff. Uh, it's been a great couple days thrifting, uh, especially with the bows yesterday. But here's what I got today. I found this on a Goodwill shelf for $2.99. This is a Davis Vantage View. Didn't know what it was, but it looked kind of valuable. So of course I grabbed it, looked it up and saw on eBay that this will sell for a hundred bucks plus shipping. So after fees and everything, I'll probably make about $90 profit on this, no problem. It actually goes with some sort of antenna. However, uh, just the console alone sells for that. So um, if it, the antenna would have been there, I probably could have got an extra, probably $100, I would imagine. Awesome find for only $2.99. I kind of regret picking this up. I picked it up in Salvation Army for $9.99. It is a Sony uh, receiver control center. It's only worth about $60 on eBay. It did not have the remote with it, so that's about all I can get, unless I buy a remote. Even on Amazon, it's kind of a high rank and selling for about $89.99. This is really heavy. So, um, yeah, I know I'll make money on it, but after it's all said and done, probably only $25. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there is money in it. It will sell. I did power it on in Goodwill. Or, or Salvation Army, and it actually seems to work fine. Uh, hit the buttons, everything seems to be working. But yeah, I'll price it kind of low because I want it to move, and I'll just make about 25 bucks on it. Also in Salvation Army, I picked up these Sunstep shoes. Uh, these, I've sold a pair just like this before. I think I sold them for $24.99. I see these fairly often, or at least I have recently, but they've been in really bad shape. They actually had another pair there that were in bad shape. These things can get beat up pretty easy, but these are in really good condition. Uh, if you see that, they were $9.99, but they're half off, so I paid $5 for them. I would not have paid $9.99 for them. I've been seeing them for the last week or so, and finally I'm just like, I'm just buying these now that they're half off. Uh, I'll make about 15 bucks profit in the end. Here is a vintage watch I picked up. Now, I picked this up at the church thrift store, went through the basket of watches they had in the case, and I saw this one and decided to pick it up. I did not look it up. They're only 50 cents. I knew it was worth a, about 20 bucks minimum. Uh, surprisingly, <laughs> this is a really good watch. In non-working condition, I saw one sell for about, uh, I think it was $60, 50 some dollars plus shipping with like 14, 15 bids. Working condition, 120 to $150. This one, I'm trying to, I don't know if you can see, there's some light scratching on the face here. So I'll try to get a battery in this and see if it works properly. And hopefully I can sell it for about $100 in this condition and uh, make about, I don't know, $75, I would say, if it works. It's kind of funny that I found this because I saw yesterday on YouTube, uh, Craig, Craigslist Hunter um, did a video about watches. And uh, I said, wow, I wish I could find watches because he went through and found a bunch and was talking about selling them. And uh, you just don't see them. In, at least the Goodwills in this area, they do not sell watches. They just do not put them out. You never see them. Every now and then, Salvation Army will have them. Uh, but yeah, church-based thrift stores are the only place to find them. And you go through that basket, and you just see garbage all the time because they get picked through. Um, I have not looked probably in two years uh, for like watches in those baskets. <laughs> and because um, you, you just get tired of striking out. 
And I've, I've said many times that you just, like, when you don't find stuff at thrift stores, you just got to keep trying. Um, kind of a hypocrite there. So I found this one, and it's going to be easy $75. Actually looking forward to yard sales this year. I'm going to try to pick up more vintage watches. It's just that it's not a thing I, I see a lot of. And I have sold a lot of these. I just don't find them because my, my dad used to pick them up, and he would pass them on to me, and I would sell them for him. So I do have a, a basic idea of what sells and what is valuable. This one I could tell just because of the vintage look. Uh, different tells on there. The model number, they're easy enough to look up. But anyway, yeah, maybe we'll get lucky with some watches uh, this yard sale season. Here I picked up this Bears. Looks like a jersey. It's a shirt. It is a vintage champion. You can see the tag right there. It's got another tag right here. Um, extra large. Chicago Bears, 34. If this was an actual jersey, this would be about a $100 jersey. The shirt, there's not a whole lot of comps, but it should have no problem selling for about 25 bucks. So for $2.99, uh, I went ahead and picked it up. And then finally, another clothing item. This is a 100% wool sweater. This is an Allen Payne. Uh, this is made in England. And I wasn't too familiar with the brand, but I looked it up because I was just in Goodwill waiting for Salvation Army to open. Just kind of browsing at clothing. And I'm like, wow, these things are pretty good sellers. Should be able to sell this for about $30, maybe uh, $40 they're selling for. It's in really good condition. So probably just price it at $29.99 plus shipping because I really don't want to hang on to clothing too long. Just move it. But for $4 and some change, I had to pick it up. I couldn't just leave it sitting there. So I've been putting the prices in the corner, popping it on screen for you. I think this is about a $500 haul, just by kind of what I'm thinking. Maybe not, maybe like just over 400. Either way, it was a great two days. That's gonna do it for the video, everybody. I wanna thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for me on the way out. Be subscribed if you wanna see more of my thrifting videos in the future. I would appreciate it. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.